Hi, welcome back. Or if you're just joining, my name is Maya and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm posting content on scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. In this video, I'll discuss a 90 centimeter silk twill scarf from Hermes's Fall Winter 2023 collection called Pantin City by Mamadou Cisse. I'll start with some background about the artist, talk about the part of Paris that gives the scarf its name, and then take a deep dive into one of the available colorways to talk about color pairings. Let's get started. Mamadou Cissé arrived in France in 1978 at the age of 18, starting a journey marked by diverse experiences such as in industrial trade, design, and baking. Self-taught, he rekindled his artistic pursuits in 2001, sketching while working as a night watchman. From then on, he poured his creativity into crafting vibrant and intricately detailed imaginary cities, aerial views of landscapes, and futuristic vistas. His artistic universe reflects his fascination with the architectural marvels, urban landscapes, and vitality of world cities. Mamadou Cissé is a staunch believer in progress, envisioning a brighter future and improved living conditions. His dreams are woven around ideal cities, encompassing homes for all and an abundance of colors to propagate joy. As he puts it, quote, I am a futurist, forging ahead, end quote. Starting in 2009, Mamadou Cissé has actively participated in several exhibitions hosted by the likes of Fondation Cartier in Paris, Dakar Biennial in Senegal, and Fondation Blanchère in France. Pantin City is his first design with the House of Hermès. Pantin is located about 4 miles or 6.4 kilometers from the center of Paris. It is bordered by the Canal de l'Ourcq to the east and the Canal Saint-Denis to the west. The River Seine also runs nearby. This area has a rich industrial history dating back to the 19th century when it was an important industrial center, particularly known for its textile and metallurgical industries. Over time, it's transformed from an industrial hub to a more diversified residential and commercial area. However, Pantin has become increasingly known for its cultural scene and creative industries. The former industrial spaces have been repurposed into art studios, galleries, and cultural centers. The area has attracted artists, designers, and entrepreneurs, contributing even more to its vibrant and artistic character. It was in 1992 that Hermès moved several of its workshops to Pantin and Saint-Saint-Denis. At the time they set up, in this post-industrial place designed by René Dumas, they were mostly focused on leather goods workshops. Size very rapidly became an issue, so Hermès brought up all the land around with the idea already emerging to create its own cité de métier. Nearly two decades later, in 2010, Le Petit H opened. That is a creation activity workshop between artists and artisans from Hermès. Initially, the idea was to create objects or artworks from quote-unquote leftovers, impossible to sell due to invisible flaws. These artisans work on silk, leather, porcelain, crystal, and more, and their artworks are displayed in Petit H. Increasingly, all the different trades and talents from Hermès, including designers, saddlers, leather workers, carpenters, goldsmiths, with their expertise and know-how, all melded here. Hermès later decided to officially expand its presence with a coordinated development and ask architect firm RDAI to conceive that Cité de Métier. This large-scale urban project was to house an ensemble of new workshops, offices, and restaurants set in landscape grounds and complete with a creche, a gym, storage and logistics areas, an exhibition space, and underground car park. After the handover in 2013, the operation was awarded the Lecaire d'Argent Prize by Le Moniteur Architecture magazine for the best French architectural project of the year. 
Covering a total of 26,000 square meters, the Cité de Métier occupies four buildings. It also has a 6,000 square meter central space laid out by landscaper Louis Benesch as five thematic gardens that, from north to south, evoke a journey bound up with the nature of the saddle maker's trade. A large meadow of wild grasses, a stone dominated Indo Persian square with a central fountain, an orchard, a Japanese garden, and a tropical garden. The urban facades are designed to pay tribute to the industrial and artisan heritage of the Parisian inner suburbs by reprising the emblematic and indeed iconic materials of these working environments, zinc roofs, brick walls, metal railings, and gates. Now let's look at one of the colorways to consider color pairing possibilities. For this, I'll use the vert, jaune, and rouge colorway. Overall, this design has a lot of color and pattern that could give a variety of looks based on how you fold it. If we start with the colors in the title, vert is green, and we see a range of green hues, including that light mint, some darker Kelly greens, and an olive. Jean is yellow. Here too, we see a few hues, such as that bright corn yellow, almost like a lime yellow, some mustard tones, and a buttermilk. Then, of course, orange, ranging again from some bright hues to more muted tones on the spectrum. Other colors we see include blues, reds, browns, grays, black, and white. So starting with the colorway name, green, yellow, and orange. Green lies on the color wheel between yellows and blues, with its complementary opposite being red, which we also see in the scarf. Next, yellow. We already know it's adjacent to green. And on the other side of yellow, orange. The complementary color opposite for yellow is purple. Then orange, which we already know has yellow as one adjacent color, and red on its other side. Orange has a complementary color opposite in blue. Isn't it interesting how just these three colors cover one side of the color wheel? Meaning, guess what? It's going to pair well with any colors on the opposite side as well. We can do the same exercise with the secondary colors. Blues, complemented by color wheel opposite orange, and adjacent colors purple and green. Reds, opposite one of the main scarf colors, green, and complemented by adjacents, orange and yellow. Then the browns, grays, black, and white, which go with anything. This particular colorway also has a red contrast hem. Just based on the color analysis, this is going to go with pretty much anything. How's that for value for your money? Shall we take a look at how the scarf pairs with the colors we've discussed? So there you have it, some background on this scarf from the Fall-Winter 2023 collection by Hermes, and my thoughts on color pairing possibilities. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, tutorials, and more, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time! Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba.